not been unpacked, if that's a possibility. Yeah, I don't even know. This was lost a year ago. She said she looked all over her house. She couldn't find it. I wouldn't pick up one painting and not the other. If I'm taking them, I'm taking them both back. Right. Right. You know, it's just the strangest thing. <laughs> it is. Sometimes you can, uh, Kim, you know, it kind of sounds silly, but, um, you know, I misplace things often, but a painting that big is kind of hard to Exactly. Misplace. And if you saw the painting, it's like impossible to not see. But sometimes you can say, all right, look, I want my painting back. And I don't know who you're saying it to, whatever. Right. Just put it out there. Right. Say, bring it home to me now. And you'd be surprised how many times you'll get a phone call and say, hey, you know, I took that just to hang, you know, for a few days, and I forgot about it. And it's here at my house. You want to come and get it? You know, um, somebody will call you and tell you they have your painting. That's wild. That's just really wild. Put that energy out there. That okay, somebody well, that'd be very interesting. I mean, the whole next thing to do would be a remote viewing on it, which would be quite <laughs> absolutely. There you go. And I, I'm I'm not trained to do that. Yes, no, I understand. I do know people who are. <laughs> so, what are some other interesting applications that people have called upon you and your husband to do with regard to dowsing? Lost items, uh, lost pets, people. People are not fun sometimes, especially if there's some bad stuff going on. Um, We have doused for uh, people that have been kidnapped, and um, we've doused, you know, and and found spots where they had been, actually, um, because there was evidence that they were there. I've doused um, for a young girl that was kidnapped in Honduras, uh, a relative of a person in California, and um, I doused the maps, told him where she was, and um, they kept moving her from place to place the whole time. But we traced her with every step they made, and the whole time that we were looking for her, I put out the energy that she was going to be safe, that they weren't going to harm her, because evidently it's quite common for this to happen, and they ask for ransom. And um, it's a way of making a living. And um, they released the girl, totally released her. She just walked back into town one day, and um, she'd been gone for almost 10 days. But she'd been moved a number of times. And when we, when he talked to her, he found out that she was actually in the areas that I had doused on those maps of Honduras. Sitting in Arkansas, I was dousing him. How interesting. So, you know, you, that was really unusual for me to have, you know, had that happen when he said, no, no, that's too far away. There's no way they would have taken her that far. But that's where she was. Um, Harold has done many dowsing jobs where he has looked for lost people. Uh, he has um, looked for uh, dogs in... Um, North Carolina, at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, he worked with the police department down there and did some dowsing, looking for a dog that had bit one of the uh, um, uh, Humane Society people, and it was running loose, and they needed to capture it to find out if it was um, had rabies. rabbit or not. And, I mean, it was on, I mean, right then he was doing the dowsing as they were looking for this dog, and... He would tell them where to go. They'd go down there, and they'd say, well, he's not here now. And, but then they'd, say, they'd see him, you know, taken off. And uh, it, was, it was, he called it real-time dowsing. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like real-time dowsing. Mm-hmm. You also said that you do not douse the past or the future. You douse into the now. Why? I douse now, today. I don't douse yesterday, except for yesterday would be like your painting, Okay. Right. Um, the knowledge is there, okay, for yesterday. But I can't douse to amend something that happened in the past. Got it. I don't use dowsing for that. That's what I meant by that. Um, I can get information from the past, but I cannot mend anything with my dowsing from the past. The future, 
you can't douse something that is not known in the universe somewhere. So I don't douse for futuristic things. You have to have at least made an effort to do something like go and uh, get a job before I can tell you your possibilities of getting that job. You had to have at least put in your resume and started the process of an interview before I can give you that possibility that they were, were interested and that they will call you or whatever. Got it. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Well, um, we here at ORI um, are still continuing the work that Harold started and um, teaching as many people as we can the power of thought, the power of your mind, and all the many aspects of it and how we can make this world a better place by being one with all that is and we believe that we all are. We are all connected. That's why we can do the work that we do and do the dowsing and do the healing work that we do here. And if anyone has any needs, be they physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, we would love for them to call us and uh, ask for some help. That's what we're here for. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been talking with, learning from, and listening to Gladys McCoy. She is the co-founder and director of the Ozark Research Institute, exploring the power of the focused mind. You can reach her by going to ozarkresearch.org. And we thank you so much for making yourself available to us today. You're welcome.